Yes. In this That's video, awesome. I'm going to show you how to increase the canvas size, which is different than increasing the image size. You can open this image from a link in the description or download it directly from the course. Okay, once you have this open, go up to the image menu, drop down to canvas size instead of image size. Okay, now we've got some math to do. What's 83 inches times two? I'm not great at math, but I think it's about 166 inches, 0.666. Totally kidding. I had to do that on a calculator. And I want this to be left justified. If I don't left justify it, watch what happens if I leave this in the center as opposed to over here or over here. Command zero to fit in screen. It basically left my image in the center and it added this canvas to each side. Well, that's not helping me. So I'm going to command Z to undo that. And notice what else it did. It basically kept this image flattened to my canvas. I don't want it to do that either. So I'm going to command or control J just to duplicate it while I'm resizing the canvas size, which always works on the background layer. But I selected the background layer just to show you. Go back up to image and I'm going to go to image size and I said that was 166.666 inches. Now, what am I doing wrong? Because you're going to do this. I'm actually on the image size. So if I click this, all I did is I made my file giant, right? It's from 68 megs to 274 megs. I'm going to command Z on that. Go back. Canvas size. See it? This canvas size dialog box. Enter those crazy dimensions. And choose left justify wherever that circle dot is that's where the edge of your image is going to be put in the canvas extension color here is the background and here it's telling us it's white which i can see it over here remember this is my background swatch in the tools panel i'm going to click ok this is a good image that will allow some stretching to happen now it looks like the horizon line's a little crooked but let's fix that in a minute first thing i'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to Edit, Transform, Scale. I'm going to drag this and see what it's wanting to do. It's wanting to enlarge the image proportionally. If I don't want it to do that, a lot of times you will, but if you don't want it to do that, just hold down the Shift key, and whatever side you drag, it's going to stretch, keeping everything else the same. So I'm going to stretch it to there, and this is an insane amount of stretching just to get that up front. You can't do this with the most images. But this particular image kind of lends itself to that kind of stretching. And I can command minus just to shrink it down a touch. Now I'm at 25%. If I grab the magnification tool or I just come up and click this zoom to 100% button, it would quickly zoom me to 100%. Remember, I can, instead of clicking the hand tool, if I hold down my space bar, it temporarily turns to the hand tool so I can pull my image around. I'm not sure you can see the digital noise and artifacts. So I'm going to zoom in to 200, 300, 400%. And again, you typically don't need to zoom in more than 100% because you won't see it with your naked eye on at its actual dimensions or in a print. But I want to make sure you can see this noise. And I want to show you how to fix it. Go up to filter, go down to noise, reduce noise. It's going to open a dialog box. It keeps it zoomed to 100%, but again, you too can zoom in more by clicking clicking this. I'm at 400 here. Automatic hand tool, so I'm going to pull it down to the sky, same as in the big image behind. All right, now watch as I, I want to, I don't need details in this particular scene. I want to reduce the color noise, and I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to check remove JPEG artifacting. Drag these maximum because it's a blue sky. They tend to be super noisy. I can toggle open the advanced and go per color channel, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click OK. And again, this is subtle. Actually, I'm going to hit Command-0 so I can fit it in the screen. And I'm going to click on this side over here, back to 400%. Do you see the noise when I turn off the stretched area, the part where I've gotten rid of the noise? See how the noise disappears? So that noise has been greatly reduced. Command-0. And now I have a really cool pano shot that I can use. I believe this particular shot needs a little bit of dodging in the foreground. So make sure you watch the part two of this video, which is called Dodging and Burning. Take care. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> god. Oh my god, I did! This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>